Hello there cherished ones. Um, we are now on day six of the yoga teacher training and it's been a really intense and beautiful day. Um, we started off in the morning, the 6am dip in the Ganga, um, followed by a special Ganga puja done by the tantric master that's been with us for the past few days. Um, I also then went and delivered some of my mum's puja, which means worship items, into the water. Um, I then, we then had another meditation and a really powerful foul, fire Vedic ceremony. Um, and we came up the three levels of, of density, the most dense, the middle level, and then the most pure level. We've been doing these um, different fire puja ceremonies. <clears throat> Every day is part of sadhana, which means worship, so effectively three days of hardcore praying, meditation, ceremony, ritual, yoga, mantras, and it's been really full on. We just um, had a sister circle where us women came together and shared our feelings and thoughts in a really nurturing, respectful way. There's a lot of women doing a lot together in a short space of well in a month so it can be quite intensive so it's a nice respectful space that was created we also did a guru puja today um, where i was given a mantra which i'm looking forward to learning um, in a guru puja guru means teacher um, and so we did a prayer gave an offering to the teacher in respect for the knowledge that he'd imparted to us um, and it got me thinking about all my teachers so many amazing teachers you know who you are including the more formal teachers and informal teachers um, and a real thanks to all of you you wonderful beings out there that have influenced my path and my understanding of this world uh, with an invitation to share thanks with your teachers whoever's watching this um, you know who, who's influenced you who's helped shape your path there's so much I think gratitude to be given to those out there doing that that service um, so yeah um, final thoughts, um, a real sense of gratitude for my teachers here, Michelle and Radhasai. Um, uh, learning Hindu traditions, meanings, mantras that run really deep into my heritage and in the past I've never really known why we'd be doing things and that's caused me to reject a lot of the, the faith that I was born into um, and seek knowledge elsewhere where I did have explanations so it feels a real privilege to learn about my heritage, about my practices, from a place of real deep devotion and gratitude. Redesai and Michelle have put years of training into their body of knowledge and it feels a real blessing to have received information um, about simple things like practices of being part of a ceremony, about the meaning of certain mantras. It's been really amazing, but really hard and, um, and, and tough but I'm sure there's lots of rewards to be found. Oh, and another exciting thing today when we were doing our mantras, um, all of us, there were, I think, uh, 13 of us chanting this mantra um, around the yantras, which I showed you the other day, and there was an earthquake, and it was amazing. Because <laughs> I looked, thinking, is someone shaking the wall? And then nobody was shaking the wall, and then my body was still shaking. I thought my kundalini was rising, and this was near the end of the meditation as well, so that was quite exciting. Um, making the earth move through our chanting, maybe. Um, cool, that's all. Wishing you so much love and um, looking forward to sharing more with you very soon. Bye-bye.